greetings team. Thank you for tuning in. It's wonderful to see you. I want to give a dissenting opinion. A lot of people believe and are trying to enforce that you need cameras to make connection, especially for speakers, presenters, facilitators, coaches, scrum masters, that you need to be able to see people in order to communicate properly. I'm calling BS and I'm going to tell you why. For decades, before television, people gathered around radios, an audio-only medium, in order to get their education, their entertainment, their information, their inspiration. This is how people connected with the outside world when they were stuck inside. There's a saying that when you shut off one or more of the senses, the other ones become more finely attuned. And I believe that. I've been a fan of audio my whole life. I've always had a set of headphones on so I could engage more fully with the sonic experience. Whether that's a speaker, whether that's music, didn't matter to me. I find that a deeply intimate medium. Not to mention the fact that most people who broadcast to a television audience can never see the people that they're connecting with. The idea that we can have bi-directional interaction is relatively new. So now when we see these big super conferences, you sometimes see a wall of faces of people, much like you would see in Zoom, for example, but 1,000 times more. Is that essential? Does that create better connectivity? Some people believe that the ability to see somebody's eyes, to see somebody's body language, to see their posture, or just to see them when they're speaking helps create greater, tighter connections. But I got to remind you, as little as five years ago, most business was conducted by what? Conference call. Boardroom to boardroom. Audio only. And there was a time, even in the early 2000s, where the very thought of quote-unquote video conferencing was an impossible dream. The bandwidth wasn't there. I remember when the first video phone came out, it died a horrible death. And it wasn't really until the smartphone revolution some years, maybe a decade later, that the bandwidth was there and it became a real possibility. So for some reason, we're starting to grow up with this belief that we must have the camera on. Now, this isn't to justify people who say they have a phobia of cameras or they don't like being on cameras or they feel it's an invasion of privacy. Those things may be real concerns. I don't want you looking at my sloppy house. I don't want you seeing my messy hair. I get it. At the same time, I wouldn't want those to be the reasons why we don't engage on camera. But that's not the issue here. What I'm talking about is that a great facilitator doesn't look at the fact that they cannot see the faces of the people they're addressing and say, this makes it impossible for me to make my connection. I just finished doing a conference where I could neither see nor hear hundreds of participants who were on a call. There wasn't even a chat where people could tell me, great point, love this, give me more, thumbs up, thumbs down, none of it, no communication. I was speaking to a blank screen into complete blackness on the ether. Did I move people? You better believe I did. How do I know I did? Because people reach out afterward. Loved your talk can't believe what I just heard. You just changed everything for me. This is a game changer. I hear that all the time. But I don't need to see your face in order to have the confidence that I'm hitting it. Look, you can have 20 people on screen with you and you will still miss. There are still people that you can't reach, that you can't please, that you won't connect with. They're not ready for you. You're not ready for them. Whatever the case may be, you simply won't hammer it home this time but there will always be people who are ready who are willing and who needed exactly what you brought today and for those people i assure you i assure you you don't need a camera on you don't need to see them and they don't need to see you as a badass facilitator in a time where there's so much facilitation happening especially happening remotely I don't want you to have to depend on perfect conditions to do your best work. I want you to say, the conditions don't matter. There's things that I like, but there is nothing that I need to deliver my best performance. All I need is this moment right here, knowing that you're listening somehow. If not now, then on a recording later, I don't care. 
I can still connect with you. Most of the courses and inspirational things that you watch are pre-recorded videos. The presenter is not actually present. So don't buy into the mythology that I need to see you in the here and now. I need to peek into your room. I need to see your bad haircut. I need to look you in the virtual eye in order to move you. That is absolutely not true. So I want you to change your mindset about cameras versus not cameras. It doesn't matter. Whatever we're given, condition-wise, we will survive, we will thrive, and we will over-deliver. We'll make impact. We'll find a way. Guys, hope this helps you. You can reach out at BadassAgile.com or find me on Twitter at Badass underscore Agile, on Instagram at Badass Agile. Thank you for tuning in. I look forward to next time. Until then, stay badass. Badass.